Hey, what's cracking? Today, we're going to go over this uh, XZ exploit that's been out there. It's been out there for a couple weeks already, and uh seems like uh, everybody and their mama is talking about it. I didn't want to talk about it, but I figured since uh, I have a respin of Arch Linux and it is affected by the XZ exploit that I should talk about it. But if you go on YouTube and just do a simple XZ exploit search, you'll find countless and countless videos on it, and it'll tell you pretty much everything about it. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm on YouTube and you can see there's just plenty of videos on it already out there. So if you want to get specific details on it, you can go to uh, pretty much any YouTube channel and they're talking about it. All right. But I went straight to the Arch Linux website to look it up. And it says right here, the XC package has been backdoored. And it says this is from uh, March 29th, 2024. So yeah, it's been about a week and a half, two weeks. And you got a message right here, TLDR, upgrade your systems and container images now. As many of you may have already read, the upstream release tarballs for XE in version 5.6.0 and 5.6.1 contain malicious code, which adds backdoor. This vulnerability is tracked in the Arch Linux security tracker. The XE package prior to version 5.6.1 2, specifically 5.6.0 1 and 5.6.1 1, contains this backdoor. The following release artifacts contain the compromised XE installation medium 2024 0301, virtual machine images 2024 0301, and 2024 0315. Container images created between and including 2024-0224 and 2024-0328. The affected release artifacts have been removed from our mirrors. We strongly advise against using affected release artifacts and instead downloading what is currently available as latest version. All right, then it got some info right here about upgrading your system. It is strongly advised to do a full system upgrade right away. If your system currently has XE version 5.6.0-1 or 5.6.1-1 installed, Pac-Man SYU. So I'm going to do that right now. Let me go ahead and open up a uh, terminal. And first, let me do a XZ dash dash version. And you can see right here, we do have XZ 5.6.1. So it says to do a pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S Y U. And I'm going to give it the no confirm tag. So it doesn't constantly ask me to click Y. So I'll just enter my password. All right, it says that uh we are completely up to date. There is nothing to do. All right, so I'm not I don't I'm not sure if this has been patched already or not because I just barely installed this today. So uh I guess it is up to date and everything's fine. So uh just wanted to let you guys know that uh if you do download a uh, Linux Hub that uh it's already up to date and nothing else needs to be done. And that's pretty much the situation with this XZ package. All right. But like I said, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there that are talking about it. So if you want to get into full detail about it, you could just do an XZ exploit search on YouTube and you'll find countless videos on it. All right. Another thing I wanted to talk about is uh the Linux Hub website. I've updated it. Just did some minor updates on it, you know, just changed little things here and there. But uh, we are now officially on Linux Hub Builder version 2.0.2. .2. And this is an image of it. Just shows you pretty much what it looks like. And it actually looks different than this because I'm going to show you right now how it actually looks. So uh, let me go ahead and close this. And we'll take a look right now because we're actually on it right now as I'm recording this video. And I've also uh, started a uh, forum. So Linux Hub now has a forum. I just barely started it, so I haven't been able to, uh, you know, really get in there and do anything because, you know, I've been real busy doing a lot of things. So, uh, but uh, we do have a forum now. So if you guys want to go ahead and sign up on the forum, it's open and available for everybody. All right. All right. Now, this is what uh, the new Linux Hub, uh, this is the welcome screen. 
So what I've done is I've merged the welcome and the control center together. So it's all just one, uh, it's just one, uh, one control center now. So when you first, uh, install Linux hub, you're going to be greeted with this right here. And this is the uh, Linux hub control center. And if you open up your menu and you click on the control center right here, the settings manager, it's just going to open up the same thing. All right. So right here is basically the same thing that you had on the welcome screen with a few extra uh, settings right here. So you got the update core repositories. You got the backup system with time shift. You got the edit auto start. You got edit open box RC. And then you got a button for open box configuration. And you still have the option to install the uh, PAMAC uh, software manager. And I put a little change log right here to show the changes of what's new in this version of uh, Linux Hub right here. So if you want to take a look at that, you can. All right. And then we have some more tabs right here. And this is for your appearance settings. So if you want to set up your display settings, your theme manager, your wallpaper, remove window decorations, return window decorations, or edit the panel, you can do it from here. And then we have another tab, which is the Linux Hub Builder tab. So right here, if you want to build a customized Arch Respin, you can do it from right here. Just click on the button. And I've also added a video right here, a guide to show you how to do it all. All right. And then, uh, like I said, this is this is what, your, uh, what comes up as your welcome screen. So you can remove it from the uh, auto start. And then you could always just open it back up from right here, from this icon right here where it says settings manager you can open it up from there and there's also some more links right here you got the linux hub website the linux hub forum and i also added my patreon right here for those that want to show some support and then you can just close the window all right this is just a quick update just wanted to talk about the xe exploit and the new uh, linux hub and uh yeah it's uh moving along now so yeah, see if you click on that link now, it'll open up. The only thing, the only difference right here, it doesn't have the remove from auto start button anymore. So now when you re-log in, it's not going to open up this thing. You have to go into your menu and just click this button right here. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Just a quick news update. All right, you guys, and I'm out.